So this is the um, pilot light that I've decided I will finally use. It's one of those pseudo vintage things, that are fairly standard sort of filament inside there with a bit of browning added to the envelope. But um, I think that looks quite the part without getting in the way too much. I had a bigger one which was going to be a bit of a problem in terms of shielding the heat. That still has a 40 watt bulb and it's still rather close to the film. Um, but the film's pretty much moving all the time so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Might have to put a shield here. We shall see. I've um, bought this little old boiling can which is just for oiling the motor points and one or two other key points on the mechanism. So um, that will stay with the projector, it will clip on the back of the machine. Something like that. But with uh, nickel plated screws. I think that should do the job. Right, well I'm just roughing out this piece of ply for the front to act as a shutter guard so that um, when twiddling the focus the hands a long way from the shutter uh, but I just have to see this will this shutter will eventually um, have uh, bracing corners um, I just have to give it a quick projection test just a light test don't have to run the motor or have film just to see what size picture we're going to get on the screen um, and whether the focusing arrangement gives sufficient scope to get that in focus so that's the plan to do that now just plug the lamp in here we go lamps on lift the safety shutter okay we've got a pretty good sized picture there pretty near to being in focus so there we are um, in a well lit room that looks uh, adequate lighting of course we're going to lose some when the shutter starts going around and the film's in there but um, that's okay uh, quite like it could improve on that anyway by using the second part of the condenser unit but that's where the lens is going to be somewhere like that so I have to make sure that that thread can enable the lens to go back far enough when I'm twiddling it so that's uh, to get to work on that now Well, I've tried working on that roller under there, that's immediately under the gate, framing roller, and doesn't seem to have made much difference, lubricating, trying some plus gas. It's like it's under some kind of tensioning device, but it's quite compli it would be quite complicated to dismantle all that area, and I want to try and stay away from that, so I'm going to have one more test. Um, having adjusted the gate pressure. Now the gate pressure, you remember that this clip was bent. So that was where it was, the gate, and that's where it is now, something like that. So it was being squeezed into there and it's now there which is better but it's not really good enough I think there's still too much gate pressure I tried pulling a piece of film through still too much gate pressure so what I'm thinking of doing is actually making a new one of these rather than modifying any of the original parts make a replacement for that very simple arm hook um, that's fractionally longer reduce the gate pressure quite considerably uh, before the next film test so a piece of scrap aluminium and that's the new hook. Here we go, so you can see that that's much less pressure on the gate. And uh, I think it'll be fine. I think it's definitely going to help having reduced gate pressure. It's going to be alright. Seems to stay there okay. So with the extra thickness of the film in the gate, 
that'll be okay. We shall soon see. So I'm just fitting these strengthening brackets to this shutter guard panel and that will make a big difference to making that more rigid. And I've also, I'm going to have a belt tensioning pulley here and um, the pulley's on its way and I've also ordered uh, a long bolt to fix it to. I'm hoping that's going to arrive soon. Doorbell. Yeah, oh, thanks Esma. Here we go. So this could be it. There we are. So that's the bolt for there. More about that another time. So that framing roller, I'm going to check. I've got some theories about why that doesn't roll, although it's called an idler in the patent, why it doesn't roll easily and it could be deliberate design so that it only moves when the face of the film is actually putting it along and it doesn't then skid afterwards which would cause scratching on the surface of the film. The thing we I can't work out, it's an unrelieved roller, it's got no raised edges. It's very unusual for this period, my experience, but you know what's what's the point of having that kind of a roller when you could have had one with raised edges which would have relieved the picture area. But maybe the idea was that the friction across the whole face would mean that that roller would move with the film but only when it was supposed to. Um, no details of that in any of the patents that I found. Uh, if it is that clever, well that's clever. I'm going to check just to make sure. I'm going to run a film through and just colour up the edge of that um, roller and just see that it does move when it's supposed to. Otherwise, it's scraping against the surface of the film, which is going to be scratched. And I've got to dismantle all that and make it roll more easily. But it could be a design feature. That's one of the things I'll discover when I take all the bits off for a final clean before reassembly. Well, the sharper viewers amongst our audience would have noticed that the um, that little test film was on the spool the wrong way around, but I just went with it to see what happened with focus. And it's still not right, it's still drifting, but I haven't yet worked out whether it's vibration causing the lens to move. I've tried to stop that, 
um, or still some problems with the gate possibly caused by this twist of the film just before it goes in the gate. Also I do need to get inside that lens and uh, clean the surfaces. It's got one of those um, little depressions either side of the ring that holds the glasses in so I've had to order one of those special tools to twist that out because although it actually looks really good when I'm holding it using it as a magnifying glass I suspect that that they were definitely looking at the screen picture uh, apart from the fact that it's all washed out due to light over spill which I'm going to deal with um, that there is a slight contrast problem I think just cleaning the inside of that lens will help a little bit at least so a bit more experimenting but it's you know it's gonna it's gonna work so at this point I think I will now take everything off and do what I'm going to do to the wood and then put everything back on and wire it properly and then we'll have a proper show maybe even with an audience if it works on the next test after being put back together and I do need to order just one or two more things online and then we'll be there so it could be I would reckon a month or two Bye for now. Yes, the phone's there. More stuff from eBay.